Hey, it's Mom. Um, I just wanted to give a quick update, quick video for uh, smart key uh, padlocks. Um, I was watching another video on YouTube and I can't remember who it was and I'm sorry that I forgot and I'll definitely put your uh, channel in the comments um, in the description when I figure out which video I was watching. But there was something interesting. So the smart key padlocks have Gen 3 modified cores. Um, I was really interested to see what sort of modifications they've done, so I was looking around online to see if I could find any way of figuring out how to get the core out of these things without completely destroying the lock. And uh, funnily enough, there is a way of doing that. So let's see. I can open the padlock, pop it open. It's key retaining, right? And on the inside of the open side of the shackle, I really need to get a good light in here, but there's a bar of metal that's held in place by a rivet sort of thing. Um, so what I did was I took my Dremel with a grinding bit and I ground the head off of the, the metal piece that was holding that metal bar in place. Now what I can do now is I can put something pointy down there and pull the shackle away, pull the metal shackle away. And as soon as you push that out the way, the core falls out. Now, I wouldn't recommend <laughs> doing this for a lock that you're gonna be using at all because it really does just take a few taps to get the shackle to move and potentially could just fall out the lock any time. But for us, looking around at the type of core we're looking at, this is really interesting. Um, and the fact that we can put the um, core back in the lock so then we can pick it. Um, as you can see on this one, the sidebar is available about halfway down the core. Um, we're going to have to shove the shim like you usually do for Gen 3 in and it looks to be set slightly deeper. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, so I'm going to need to find a way of hooking uh, 18th hour, 20th hour metal bit into there and putting enough pressure on it that it's going to make the pins uh, stick and let us start picking it. Um, but I just thought I'd update that. Um, thanks for listening. I'll talk to you later.